A longtime landmark in the middle of Little Rock has new owners today and for cheaper than you may think. THV 11's Ian Russell spent the day following the unusual auction sale of the Park Plaza Mall and he joins us live from there with more on what is next for the property there. Ian, what's going on? Yeah, guys, a cool hundred grand. That's how much the Park Plaza Mall sold for today. But of course, not the total cost. There's still the issue of the millions of dollars in debt that is still owed that the new owners will have to take over and figure out what to do with. But those following this tell me this is good because it could mean an investment is coming to keep the Park Plaza Mall going. It doesn't matter who you ask. Now that was surprising to me, but uh, that's what they said and that's what we went with and nobody else to bid more, so there we are. What was paid for the Park Plaza Mall doesn't seem like a lot. Uh, $100,000 is a, you know, a really, really good price for that. I mean, no matter who you are or where you're from. A cool hundred grand for all this. The mall was auctioned to the highest bidder at the Pulaski County Courthouse at noon on Thursday, but there was just the one bidder, Deutsche Bank, an investment group based out of Germany. No, that wasn't surprising. Usually when we have bids here at the courthouse, it's usually one bidder and then the sale is just as quick as that happened just then. If you think that hundred grand isn't a lot, you'd be right. Right. But Jay Cheshire, the CEO of the Little Rock Regional Chamber of Commerce, says that price is expected because it's not the total cost of the property. This was, uh, you know, th this was a legal maneuver to be able to gain control of the future of that property. Deutsche Bank bought them all for a hundred grand, but also is saddled with the $86.2 million in debt owed to them from the previous owners of Park Plaza. Even though you are the holder of the debt, you don't necessarily control it until you control it. Now they do. So what's next for the mall? That's still up in the air, but those at today's auction wanted one thing, to keep that piece of history as it was, as a mall. Not only is it a history point, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a destination point. So something like that, that is so important for the community that everybody enjoys, it would just be heartbreaking to see it go. But Chester says, don't worry, the mall most likely isn't going anywhere, and it could even mean better things are on the way. And, and what it means to all of us from a Little Rock and a Central Arkansas perspective is there's so much interest in that level of development of that property in that location that they're willing to do this as opposed to a fire sale, which none of us wanted. So again, we don't know exactly what's next here at Park Plaza Mall, but Chester says it'll still probably stay as a mall. He says what's on the agenda, though, coming up next is probably finding some more brick and mortar stores to set up shop here at Park Plaza Mall. Live in Little Rock, I'm Ian Russell, THV 11 News.